Hey there everybody, 670-60ASD here. We got some pretty crazy stuff coming up right now about Nintendo's new Switch console. So, let's go ahead and get right to it. First off, let me just say, this logo caught my eye. Look at how amazing the simplicity is. I mean, just look at it. It just screams. Uh, simple. Yeah, that. Now, onto the stuff you came to hear about. This console is called the Nintendo Switch, and for good reason. You could literally switch between your TV and the handheld console. How crazy is that? I gotta say, the controllers just blow me away. You could actually remove them from the console and hold each side of the controller separately. It's like the Wii Nunchuck was just, you know, concept art for this masterpiece. The Switch also has a built-in kickstand for ease of use on, say... Hmm, what's a good example? Oh yeah, a plane! That actually brings me to my next point. The fact that this is already infinitely better than the Wii U. Because the gamepad doesn't need to be in range of the console. One thing it does look like we won't be seeing anymore is the dual screen capabilities like with the gamepad on the Wii U. But with what it lacks in screens, it makes up for in controllers. You can actually detach both of the controllers, officially named Joy-Cons, and give one part to a friend and they turn into mini game pads, sort of like the SNES. This is perfect for playing multiplayer games with your friends on the go or even just at your house. One thing the Switch will utilize is something I personally prefer. No discs. Seriously. You know how many times I've had to buy a new game because a disc got too scratched up to use? Well, it's actually only like three or four times, but, uh, but the theory still scares me. Already, this console is miles ahead of the Wii U, with the whopping 48 software companies already pledging support. We've even already seen a handful of games being played on the console, including NBA 2K, a brand new Mario game, maybe, and Skyrim? Listen, I've logged hundreds of hours in Skyrim. I've also logged hundreds of hours into my Nintendo systems. I don't think you'll be able to take me off the couch for this combination. And finally, to wrap up all this hype, we could expect this console in March 2017. There isn't a specific day, and there certainly isn't a price. But I know that wallets around the world will be getting emptied when this beauty is released. Alright, that wraps up this video for today, guys. Comment down below what you think about the console. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is 67060ASD, signing off. It works.